What's going on guys? So today we're looking at a Harbor Freight knife. This is a new release from Gordon. That's uh, I guess one of their brands. I see a lot of different Gordon uh, branded knives at Harbor Freight. Um, <laughs> this one is, it's a Buck 119 copy. I actually had someone on uh, Instagram let me know about this, which was super cool then because I happened to be going in an area where there was a Harbor Freight. So I was able to pick it up right away. I was actually surprised the second they showed me and it says brand new on the site and everything that they actually had it in stock. So that was a really cool find. Um, when I first saw this uh, on their website, it's funny because it actually said underneath the, uh, the caption there, um, you know, comparable to Buck 119. They show the original price of the Buck 119. This one they're selling for $19.99. But when I revisited it today, before making this video, like maybe five minutes ago, I just wanted to read up on it a little bit again. And uh, it didn't say that anywhere. So whoever originally put that on the website, they took it off. They're not comparing this directly to the Buck 119 for whatever reason. But right now it says <laughs> in its place, perfect, and I quote, perfect for um, piercing and cutting in tight places, I believe is the wording they use. Um, maybe compared to a sword, sure. That's just kind of a weird thing to point out. But anyway. Um, yeah, so the Gordon six inch blade Bowie knife, Bowie knife, however you personally like to uh, pronounce that. So this one is in 7CR17 MOV, which of course is nothing to, uh, to brag about to your knife friends. Um, but overall it looks pretty good. It comes with a genuine leather sheath, which is nice. $19.99. I mean, as far as, you know, comparing to a buck 119, sure. That's a lot cheaper. But I would have loved to see this for $9.99. That would have been pretty cool. Uh, $20 is getting into the... Yeah, you can actually get some decent knives for $20. Bucks. For $10, bucks, you have way less options in my opinion. But anyway, let's go ahead and read what this says. So again, Gordon is the brand. It's, uh, let's see, 58090 is the little skew number there in case you're trying to look it up or something. Six-inch blade, heat-treated blade, ergonomic grip, uh, through tank construction through tang construction that's it's kind of vague the tang of the blade could end here it could end here it can end here or here uh, i doubt it's literally a full tang because it would have said full tang that would have been something to brag about so it's through tang construction yeah pretty much every knife has a tang somewhere in the handle but is it like this long <laughs> well i have no idea i will beat on this thing all right especially for the price and especially because uh, it's a Harbor Freight tool. I'm going to go ahead and beat on this and use it. I'm going to use it for normal stuff, but I'm going to go above and beyond to see if uh, if it breaks. But anyway, um, durable fixed blade design. Okay. Uh, ten and a half inch overall length. All right, again, the steel 7C, uh, excuse me, 7CR17 MOV. I'm just so excited. I'm talking so fast. It doesn't even make any sense. Stainless steel blade construction. Superior edge retention. Mm, that's debatable. Uh, synthetic resin handle, all right, aluminum handguard, genuine leather sheath. All right, flip it over. Specification says synthetic resin handle with ergonomic grip for easy use without slipping. Includes protective leather uh, sheath with belt loop. Heat treated blade for maximum strength and durability. Perfect for piercing, detail work, and cutting in tight places. So they have it here on <laughs> the package as well. I don't know what that means. I mean, if you had a 30 inch blade, it would be hard to pierce in tight places. This is still not a small knife like that. You might pitch that on like a little tiny folder. Like they have that little key shaped uh, knife where it's like a brass key or whatever and it has a little blade inside you can hang in your keys. So it's not that noticeable as being a knife. Um, although it doesn't really look like a key, <laughs> but uh, that might be considered something that's great for tight places. But anyway, whatever. Um, Fuller reduces the weight of the blade for easy use. I'm talking about this. This is a fuller, all right, or a blood groove, as we used to call it back in the day. So back in the day, it used to be like, yeah, when you stab someone, this would allow airflow so the blood can flow out, which is such a stupid thing. That's something I said when I was like 12 years old. <laughs> it had a, had a blood groove in it. Super cool. But that's what the purpose of a fuller is, is to reduce a little bit of weight you know, on the blade. I don't think that that's really doing much. It's not like, wow, this thing was like a brick. Thank God they put that little thing in there. Now I don't even know if I'm holding it. It's ridiculously light. So anyway, let's just uh, break into this guy. See what's going on here. So yeah, it's kind of cool. Harbor Freight coming out with something different. They do have some folders. I've had people ask me 
to try out their folders, but I know they're gonna be kind of lackluster. This is a little different because there's so many fans of the Buck 119. It's such a popular design. So I figured I would give this one a go. All right, and here's our sheath. I don't know what that is. Do not eat. Okay, well, maybe it's just supposed to go with that. I'll show you that stuff. All right. So, first, the leather. Does smell like leather, feels like leather. Yeah, that's that's a leather, a genuine leather sheath. Cool. For 10 bucks, I'd say it's worth the sheath alone. Um, there's a you know, snap on there. This is all one piece. In fact, the whole, the entire sheath is one piece of leather. This is wrapped around, so imagine unstitched, this would fold out. So pretty, uh, pretty nice design, actually. Of course, it has the belt loop on there. All right, let's see what the knife looks like side of its sheath here. All right, does snap in. All right, does retain very nicely. Very cool, I mean, it's a nice looking uh, package there. Pop it out. The blade here says GK21, real small there. And the other side has nothing. Does have a resin handle, as it said. Aluminum bolster and pommel. Um, because it's designed after the Buck 119, it's actually pretty comfortable. It does, it does feel good in the hand because of the guard here and because this sticks out. Uh, even though everything is super smooth, no jimping, no texture whatsoever. I mean, just polished up. It is comfortable. It does fill the hands, but I don't feel like it would slip very, very easily. Okay, even with wet hands, I've used Buck 119s. I've used other uh, Buck Fix blades with very similar designs. And even though they're super smooth, because of their design, it's just not easily going to slip. All right, if you're really actually using this to hunt or something, and you have you know blood on it, or you're out in the mud in the rain, any kind of wet situation, I don't think you have an issue with uh, grip too much. Um, is the blade sharp out of the box? I should have grabbed a piece of paper. I'll be right back. I'm gonna do that right now. All right, grab the sheet of paper here. Ooh, that's promising. So here's our edge. Right out of the box, it is actually sharp, albeit. Um, not a super steel by any means. Does come very sharp right out of the package there. I definitely uh, appreciate that. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, for 20 bucks, at least you know it'll it'll be sharp out of the package. And I don't know how consistent that is. You know, you might have just seen that and be like, oh wow, it's really cool. And then you go pick one up and it's dull. I don't really know. I only have one to compare, but I'm assuming that they're all going to be at least sharp out of the box. It's not going to hold an edge all that great. All right, um, the steel is definitely on the soft side of things. Uh, the pro to that is it's going to be easy to resharpen. All right, so if you do actually want to, you know, get this knife for 20 bucks, you want to carry it, you want to use it occasionally, you could do so, but you're going to need to know how to sharpen your knives. All right, it definitely won't hold an edge very long, even though somewhere on the package there, it does uh, state that it's going to retain an edge well. I would disagree with that. Um, but we're gonna find out. I'm actually gonna use this thing, like I said, I'm gonna beat up a little bit. I uh, just wanna see if it's gonna take, you know, a little bit of chopping, a little bit of uh, tip work, you know, and, and not just break or bend really easily. We will find out. I'm not gonna like, you know, purposely try to break it. I'm actually gonna use it first and see how it performs. But yeah, might do a video on the future, like an update on this one. This is just kind of out of the package to show you uh, in case you happen to be by a Harbor Freight. If you have an interest in this style of knife and you wanted to check it out for 20 bucks, uh, my first impressions are actually really good. Um, just going to depend on the heat treat, even though it is a softer, cheaper steel. If they heat treated it well, it should be okay. You know, for, for a $20 knife, it should be okay. It's just not going to, again, blow your socks off or anything or stay sharp forever by any means. Uh, but I think that right now the price is right for what they're offering. But time will tell. So that's all. Just want to give a heads up on that. I also picked up some machetes, which are on sale for 5 bucks. Uh, which is a, a copy of a SOG design. I think it's the uh, SOG Fari. And uh, those are pretty interesting. Might do a separate video on that. Not sure yet. But uh, I do a lot of bushwhacking. I know that sounds kind of funny. I don't mean that I'm doing bushwhacking like on some kind of safari or, um, you know, jungle tour. What I mean by that, bushwhacking, is um, a lot of times I'm, I'm up trying to help my, uh, my folks with the, uh, the property. And they have that path, uh, you know, across from the, uh, the pond. And it, it gets overgrown quite frequently. So when I visit, occasionally I go out there and I have a, a couple different fixed blades I use to chop down that stuff. The problem is that um, the knives I have up there, like I have an Ontario fixed blade, I have, I have a couple other, I have a jungle -y. 
they're great for thicker stuff if I actually have to chop into wood, but oftentimes when I have just like some loose branches or like, um, you know, brambles or anything like that, you really do need a thin, light machete. I get very fatigued swinging these, these big, heavy, thick fixed blades, and they're not meant for that. You know, you can have a super razor sharp fixed blade, you know, with a really thick uh, steel on it, or, you know, stock for the, the blade, and it's just gonna bend a very thin branch, you know what I'm saying? So as I'm coming in with these big, heavy knives, I hit these branches, and it's not necessarily biting and cutting, it's just kind of folding them back, and as I, you know, sweep past, it just boom, goes back up. If you have a thick branch, yeah, it'll chop through it very easily, but I really need, a, again, a, an actual cheap machete, and which is what this is, and that should help with the actual brush. So there's a difference between chopping wood and bushwhacking. Bushwhacking is quite literally chopping very, very thin little branches so that they're not sticking out anymore, and it's difficult to do that with a thick blade. All right, and not to mention it's heavy, so swinging all that weight back and forth is, is extra fatiguing, which is unnecessary. So it's not only not doing the job great, but it's also making me tired quicker. So I'm definitely going to get some work on those machetes in the future and might make a video on that separately. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show this real quick. I think it's super cool. Let me know down in the comment section if you happen to pick one up, what you think of yours. But my initial impressions are actually really good for 20 bucks. But we'll see after I start using the thing. So that's all. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.